Hello guys and welcome to another video with Cass on the Mismo channel. So today guys I have some very exciting news. Uh, I think I came up with one of the most versatile 7-segment uh, displays ever done in Minecraft. And it has so many interesting and useful features that I would ask you to please watch the entire video so you don't miss out on anything. I can't count how many times I gave up on projects just because I didn't have the right components to do all that I wanted to do. And with what I'm about to show you guys, you will uh, for sure be, com be convinced that this is just amazing. So let's go for the demonstrations. So we have the display in here and a little pen in here with a few options. So uh, I added a counter to it so that we can count up to one. And this is going to be the two. I can actually click multiple times like this uh, or even spam click it doesn't matter uh, first thing you probably will notice uh, will notice uh, hopefully is that this thing doesn't make a sound it's completely silent guys and uh, the the digits are mostly uh, mostly synchronized as well so let's take a look at the other options uh, like decreasing so if I press the button, it basically counts up and down. So we are back to uh, at eight. Now we are going to go to seven uh, and then six maybe. And uh, of course, I added a reset option. So if you click on it, uh, there's a little sound, a little load block that I added. It goes straight to zero. No piston tape uh, craziness or anything like that. And you can also, uh, well, let me first change the numbers in here because it's going to be a lot more amazing if I do so. Maybe let's put, uh, let's display a three up there or a four. What do you guys think about a four? <laughs> okay, so if we turn off the display now, uh, yeah, how, look how amazing it is, guys. I can turn it back on and our number is going to still be there, guys. <laughs> so this is fully featured, guys. And let me show you the redstone behind it. So yeah, that is all, guys. It's all torches and repeaters and comparators uh, which means that this thing could, could could have been built in minecraft 1.5 when comparators were introduced in the game uh, never mind the, the 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 observers here i don't actually need the observers i just wanted the interface to be cool and nice and simple to use uh, but there is a bunch of different components that i put together in here uh, to make this thing work which i am uh, obviously excited to show you guys now so let's take a look at that so this is a exploded version of the, the project. Uh, so you guys can see the components that work individually, guys. So let me show you this. So naturally the, the display is turned off uh, and we have the levers in here to test. So this is a zero, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's see five, I like five. So yeah, there is a, there is a five. And those, uh, those uh, in practice, those levers are replaced by those torches in here. So if you want to do your computers or calculators or mini games, you will just basically hook up uh, a torch tower uh, under it and control it as you wish. Um, but yeah, a lot of you guys will want to uh, work with binary numbers and then hook those up uh, to this thing or use a BCD conversion and everything. But in my case, I decided to use signal strength as input because signal strength is just amazing. It changes fast. It's super easy to convert binary numbers to signal strength and then hook it up to this red circuit in here and let the red circuit do the job. I will show you guys how this works. Basically, I can break this block and you can see that only the last torch uh, turns on. And finally, we have uh, this circuit in here, the, the, the gray circuit, which is uh, the, the logic board for uh, add incrementing and decrementing uh, resetting and clearing the display. I used the piston in here, but pistons uh, is definitely not necessary. Uh, I will show you guys in a moment. So uh, let me build a quick setup in here before I get to the even more awesome part of this video. And I will be right back with you guys. Okay, so you've seen how the manual process works. Uh, so let's go to the signal strength decoder. So basically, if I flip this lever in here, uh, only this first torch will turn on. Uh, if I flick like the, the third one from the back, the third one from the back correspondingly, correspondingly is going to be turned on. Uh, and if I, you can see that if I turn uh, on and off the torches, there's no flickering or pulsing of the other torches, uh, which is 
essential because otherwise all the lamps would blink and this would cause lots of lag. So this is quite interesting. So this is a signal strength that's only four wide and two high, uh, except well, if you count the torches, it's three high. Uh, well, which, which is new <laughs> and I needed to do in order to make this thing compact. So yeah, this is how awesome this is. Give this signal strength and then you can control the panel, uh, which is, well, if you, if you do redstone, you know how amazing this feature is. Uh, and about the, the, the counter manager in here, well, uh, you can increase it. Um, yeah, it's, it's inverted for reasons that uh, I prefer not to explain because it would take longer than I wanted for this video. And if you decrease, obviously it changes things back. Um, you can reset, so resetting sets the signal straight to the to a specified value. So if I mouse over here, well actually here is what's going to get inside this specific block. It's going to be at signal strength level uh, 9 when you reset this thing. And when you turn it off, basically you power this entire line. So this is why I don't need the piston. I could as well just use a uh, lever in here and it will turn it off for me. So, ta da! <laughs> Same effect, so completely silent. So, uh, finally, let me show you what I did for you guys. So, uh, inside this chest, I left you guys some structure blocks. So, let's bring some of them with us. So I can demonstrate how they work. So as you can see, they are named display only, display and decoder, and display decoder and counter. So let me show you guys how they work one by one. So uh, if you download this map, all you need to do is to place uh, your stu structure block and you're going to see a bounding, blocks, bounding box like this. This is the positive orientation uh, as well as this because you usually would like to have your displays go in this direction. And then just click on it and hit the load on the right side. Don't do it from the left side, do it on the right side. Okay, so here's your display. Uh, this is the entire redstone for this if you need to play with it. Okay, so let's uh, move on to the next one. You can place your uh, the display with the coder. Same thing, you hit the load button and then you can see uh, what, what I believe most people will uh, we'll use is this display with the built-in decoder because this is what you can do. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can place this in here. I need to get rid of this, otherwise it's going to get powered. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this should work. Uh, yeah. Now you can see your number nine. You can see your number two. You can see your zero. And yeah, guys, you have a display super ultra compact that you can basically give it uh, signal strength and it will change. Uh, I'm subtracting from this, which is a maximum level furnace. But if you invert the signal, you can just use your redstone signals from uh, input your redstone signals from this side, uh, which makes your interface flush with the wall, which is what most people prefer to do in, uh, in their own designs. The top is completely flat, which allows basically you to, to tile those units together on top of each other, uh, which is very convenient uh, in verse, for Redstone projects. Uh, and finally, uh, if you want to play with it, there is the display decoder and counter. Uh, just place it, load it, and there you go. The, this layer is just here because of the, the, previous, uh, the previous structure. But yeah, it's here, ready to be used. Turn it on. Uh, yeah, it's actually, uh, it doesn't have anything to display, that's why. <laughs> Let's increase this thing. What is going on here? Hello. Oh, it's, I turned it off. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, yeah, increase once again, decrease. And finally, let's test the reset. And there you go. Yeah, this is just my counter. Uh, it's slow because it has to go through lots of <laughs> uh, observers in here, but you can do your own counters, your own uh, systems to carry things to the other displays. You can tile those together side by side. 
uh, and basically control everything. So this is all available to you guys. This was designed in 1.13.1. So you guys let me know if anything fails. Nothing should break. It should work in pretty much any version of Minecraft because it's just torches, repeaters and comparators, which basically work the same with every version of the game. And the decoder, which is the most important uh, bit uh, to connect to this thing at least, uh, is also just repeaters, torches and comparators. And yeah, everything is going to be uh, available to you guys. Just download the map, there is backups and everything. And let me know if you if everything that, that I showed you guys is uh, is, is good for you. I, I really hope this is going to be good for you. I know that I will be using those things a lot. So I, I, I would really appreciate a like on this video. It was a lot of work and they hopefully uh, lots of useful things for you guys to do on your own projects, guys. So thank you very much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.